We continue talking and paying tribute to uh, our legend, uh, Jonas Gwangwa. Joining us now is uh, Prince. He used to work with uh, Jonas uh, Gwangwa and uh, obviously on the line with us uh, just to cha share his thoughts and uh, tributes to the man. A very uh, good afternoon to you, sir, and thank you so very much uh, for being with us here on SABC News. Obviously, a very, very sad day for you. Uh, someone I'm assuming was a, a lot like a mentor, was a friend, uh, passing away I mean condolences to you and, and you know, what are your thoughts uh, this afternoon as uh, you kind of think or, or, or and reflect on on your time with and uh, Jonas well thank you for the opportunity it is a sad day really as you say you know one is now afraid of the 23rd of January of any year mm. thinking about how then it robs us of great legends of this business. Um, I've known Jonas since he came back from exile and uh, we, we worked with him as his uh, backing band with Umbongo and, uh, you know, with people like Moses Mulelekwa, um, Glenn Mafuko, Vivian Majola, and uh, Sipom Chali. So he is a father, not like a father, yeah. but a father to me, you know. And I can remember when I got married, he was the only principal musician I had worked with who came to my wedding. Yeah. And, um, yeah, as I say, he was a father, a, a brother, and a great mentor. Um, we've done lots of gigs with him locally and overseas. And really, it is a sad day to lose Zate Kwangwa so, so, so soon after his wife had uh, passed on, you know. Yeah. I was just saying earlier on, that uh, one was not even able to, because of the COVID and uh, all these uh, uh, protocols, to attend Mama's funeral. Now, there's also a possibility that one could perhaps not even be there to say goodbye to Ndate Kwangwa, mm. which is really a sad, sad, sad thing. Yeah, I mean, it is completely heartbreaking. I mean, this is someone that you you mentioned was uh, was like a father to you, was 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 a mentor. Um, I yeah. mean, really, we're living in such uh, difficult times where, you know, we, we have to say uh, goodbye in, in the ways we don't want to say uh, goodbye in the most, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not it's not part of our wound to how we do do things. No. And, I, and I certainly do understand that very much. Uh, you know, you say that that, that that this is someone that that that, that was your mentor and and, and I mean, you obviously um, kind of watched him as you as you played backing band. Uh, you obviously learned a lot uh, from Jonas Gwango. What are some of the lessons? What are some of the things? I mean, you know, it's often when you're when you're around a legend, you can sometimes forget that this person is is actually a legend. You know, they become more like your friend and so forth. But in that time, there's so no, much that's, that's that you have to true. take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very true. You know, I mean, when we are in the studio, we are relaxed. We make mistakes and. Uh, you know, th things are said, injured, some some funny things, some strange things, and uh, we really became like friends. Yeah. And uh, I think the one most important lesson I will always have in my heart is that he was a humble man, and uh, humility is one of the things that uh, help us our, in our trajectory or in life to go further and further. He was a very humble man, and uh, he was an understanding man you know sometimes you work with people mm. and uh you always treat them like your boss or they want to be treated like the boss mm. but with him it was like we are his kids we are a family you know uh we could just go by his house and uh, say hello have lunch you know? um but importantly it was just his humility and his uh, ability to be approachable yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mean, how how would you like to, Abu Prince? Uh, how would you like for him? I mean, you have your own memories that uh, you're fortunate to, to have, and personal memories that you'll hold with you forever. Uh, but as uh, uh, South Africans, we also want to uh, remember him, and certainly we'll remember him mostly, of course, for the music. Um, but how? What more would you like us to know, and how you'd like us uh, uh, to to remember him? Luckily, we do have in our archives here at SABC these uh, uh, visuals and interviews he's done with us here and I can I can even pick up uh, you know he was uh, someone who had quite a sense of humor as well and, uh -huh, and, and, and uh -huh. maybe and maybe if you can talk to us about how how we can and how he should be uh, remembered by South Africans I, I think the most important thing for South Africans to remember is his contribution 
to the struggle, you know, yeah, um, yeah. because sometimes we tend to overlook uh, these things because we see people at jazz festivals and so forth and that, and then we don't remember how much sacrifice that he had to make. You know, he had to go to the States uh, without his family. He lived in Botswana when those uh, attacks were happening, cross-border attacks were happening, very closely losing his life. But he did it for the struggle. He did it for his people. And uh, you think of songs that he wrote, like the Poror, you know. You, you, you then realize the depth of his commitment to the struggle. And uh, I suppose people will think of the struggle only as ANC. But yeah. the struggle was fought by everybody. Some people in the PAC made great contributions. Some people, some of us, even here at home, we didn't go to exile, you know. Yeah. Uh, but we, we, we made great contributions doing gigs for nothing at the Orlando Stadium. And uh, many musicians made that contribution. Mm -hmm. But I think that Kwango has to be remembered for his contribution to the struggle. Yeah. to the emancipation of his people and coming back and being here and training other musicians and uh, making sure that we have opportunity to perform with him overseas locally you know but yeah for me the most important thing is that we must not forget that he was a father yeah. who loved his family a father who loved the musicians he worked with yeah. And Dr. Prince, thank you so very much uh, for giving us your time and uh, in your grief uh, being able to speak so articulately and so well uh, on uh, your father, your friend, your mentor, your colleague. We appreciate it very much and we appreciate your time. Thank you for giving me the time and uh, may his soul rest in eternal peace. You yeah, will most surely miss him. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. And what a great legacy to uh, leave uh, behind uh, Prince uh, Lengwasa, his close friend, his colleague, his uh, bandmate, just uh, someone who really worked closely with him, reminding us, of course, uh, to remember him for also not just the music, but also his uh, contribution uh, to our struggle here in South Africa. And uh, while I continue uh, uh, talking about uh, Jonas Gwango, just to read for you um, what was uh, shared by President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa as he was uh, paying tribute on social media uh, a short while ago about our jazz legend uh, Jonas Gwanga. Uh, just uh, briefly reading uh, that statement for you where President Saram Posa has expressed his uh, deep sadness at the passing away today of the cultural icon Jonas Gwanga at the age of uh, 83. The esteemed member of uh, the Order of Ikamanga was a globally recognized and awarded composer, arranger, producer and jazz trombonist. Uh, the President's thoughts and uh, prayers are with the Gwanga family, friends, colleagues, comrades and followers around South Africa and uh, indeed uh, the world. The citation of uh, this national order which he received in 2010 recalls how this South African paragon enthralled the audiences around the world with his artistry as a composer and all round uh, creative genius uh, for over uh, 30 years. He was uh, to travel the world on exile and exile uh, collecting accolades wherever he went and also adding that Dekwa Angwa narrowly escaped death in 1985, as was recalled by Prince, who we spoke to a short while ago uh, when his home was blown up by the apartheid security forces, a product of the turbulent but musically significant 1950s. He uh, emerged from the, from the humble environs of Orlando East in Soweto.